Chemistry of Sugars, the Disaccharides. The following video is a part of a summary about the chemistry of sugars and should be paused regularly due to the high density of information. In the video about the monosaccharides, the formation of a hemiacetyl out of a keto or aldehyde group with a hydroxy group was mentioned. The hemiacetyl is able to react with another hydroxy group which could be provided by another monosaccharide to form an acetyl group which is present in disaccharides. Disaccharides are also called double sugars and are made of two monosaccharides. The most common disaccharide is sucrose which is also called household sugar. The connection between the two monosaccharides is called a glycosidic bond. It is differentiated by the position of the hydroxyl group at the anomeric carbon atom which contributes to the bond and is called alpha or beta glycosidic bond. In addition to that, the carbon atoms between which the bond is present are added to the name. So as an example, due to the hydroxy group at the anomeric carbon atom in sucrose being in alpha position it is called alpha 1,2 glycosidic bond. While the hydroxy group at the anomeric carbon atom in gentobios is in the beta position which gives a beta 1,6 glycosidic bond. The whole name of a saccharide like for example sucrose looks like this. Alpha D glucopyranosyl 1 2 beta D fructofuranoside. So at first the position of the hydroxyl group at the anomeric carbon atom is named. Then if the monosaccharide is a D or L sugar. Next the monosaccharides are named together with the information whether the pyranose or furanose form is present. And in between, like in naming the glycosidic bond, the carbon atoms are added. Like the monosaccharides, the disaccharides are present in the closed chain form when they are not dissolved. When they are dissolved in water, one of the rings is able to open if one of the anomeric carbon atoms is free. Due to this, lactose, which is shown, is a reducing sugar and causes the results of common tests for reducing sugars to be positive. Nevertheless, there are also disaccharides where both of the anomeric carbon atoms are connected by the glycosidic bond. So none of the rings is able to open in the dissolved state causing it to be a non-reducing sugar which is different from the monosaccharides. When acid is added, the disaccharides can be split into the monosaccharides which is called hydrolysis. The monosaccharides are then able to give a positive result in the common tests. This was a summary about the disaccharides. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. If you want to know more about sugars and chemistry, you can watch my playlist about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.